What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review. Today we're going to take a look at Asmus Crown Series Gandalf and you can order this at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. They're actually cheaper. They're like $3.30. Um, you know, so definitely under retail. I think it's even $3.20. We have a uh, code on that, but yeah, I'll put the link down below. You go ahead and check it out. So Crown Series, for those who are not familiar, is kind of like the DX of hot toys now this is their first shot at a uh, crown series and i hope this is not the last one um i have doubts in here i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've been vocal about you know my doubts in this figure i didn't want to pick it up but you know there was a good deal that came along that i had to pick it up and um uh, and i'm when i did i'm well aware about in art and we're going to talk about that later However, let's, let's focus on this, this figure right here. So the box is beautiful. Like I said, you see the, all the uh, markings on the side. This has all the makings of a DX figure. You know, the, the magnet, the way it opens up, the, um, the foam inserts. Although, you know, on the first Gandalf, there's also foam inserts. And this is where the head sculpt normally is in. I already took mine out. Um, I'm going to put several videos about this figure because I, I just, you know, it's very interesting. And you got this um, hat that is a very controversial that they announced a new hat uh, that they're going to give away. Basically, you just have to pay for shipping, I believe, or buy a figure from them. So that is nice. A nice gesture. Uh, you can see right here some hands in the book um, on the other side. I couldn't wait <laughs> to crack this open, so I kind of unboxed this, you know, behind the camera because I, I, I'm just excited. Um, and then underneath is you are, oh, right here, you're going to, you know, this is the piece of the belt that kind of broke on me. Um, and like I mentioned, I unboxed this beforehand and, uh, you know, this is all the uh, base and all that. I, I wanted to assemble this as well. And I took out the base here because it, the, the foliage is being pressed down. Um, and uh, so I took that off, but yeah, it's it's very impressive, just right from the get go. And and keep in mind, if you've had DX figure before, you know the weakest part is the box because it's heavy, and the seam line, you know where the door is, you know the packaging door that always kind of tears. So don't be surprised if yours has one. Do not contact Big Bad and return it. I do not be a box collector, please. Uh, accessories. It does come with decent amount of a, a lot of hands, a lot more than the first one. You see variations of hands. And I said this on my Legolas review, they have come a long way when it comes to hands. Now they got realistic hands. It is nice. And you got this uh, rolling eye system. And you see the Asmus kind of like Pac-Man symbol in there and the handle. Uh, you insert this, but honestly, you don't need it. You just need your fingers. Um, you know, mine does work just fine. And you got his sword, Mithendril, uh, I believe. Um, it's nice die cast. And the scabbard is, you know, it has some weathering as well. The, the kind of loop belt thing that you see is how he, uh, how he holds that scabbard into place in his belt. So there's, um, there's a lot of things going on here. Mine actually kind of broke and I, I kind of glued it together. It's very easy. You don't need to... Uh, Return. I contacted Asmus and I told them not to, and they were willing to send it to me, uh, another piece. But you know, I feel bad. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, I just panicked initially. I was like, "Oh man, I broke this." But hey, here you go. It's it's done. And you got this staff where it, this is in the um, fellowship. You know, went into the tomb. He kind of lit it up, and it's the same, kind of like the same. And you got the uh, pipe here nicely painted and i'm gonna do a comparison between this and the first gandalf the gray from asmus and this is another staff and supposedly you have holes in here which is kind of step back because the first one does where you insert the pipe this one does not you can drill it i suppose but you know i won't um here you go you see the book uh that he picked up when he was in the tomb this is a bit disappointing because I feel like they it's a wasted effort. Not a wasted effort because it looks nice, nicely sculpted, but the pages looks great. They're old and you can actually see that there's different, you know, pages in this book. However, you can't open the book. You know, that's kind of, and, and in the prototype you could. So that's kind of sucks, but hey, 
And again, the hat. This is a fabric hat that has a magnet on it. Very controversial because it doesn't sit properly. Mine, I didn't have any problems with it, but they're going to send a new one. They said eventually everyone's going to have a hat, even those who doesn't have Gandalf. So I'm um, kind of can't wait for mine. And he's his satchel right here. One of the, at least for me, one of the best is this base right here. It's not a big footprint. Uh, it is nicely done. You got a working gate. You got some, um, you know, grass. You got some uh, aquarium plants, some foliage in there. Uh, the um, the stand itself is the same one as Aragorn, kind of like a pillar of some sort. And it, you got a, um, a working mailbox. And look at this. It, it does work. Now, the holes in it that you kind of peg those in is not entirely secure so i was hope yeah i wish they had some magnets instead uh but you could opt not to have this if this is too much for you you know because i know there's a lot of things going on and i've read on forums that you could actually remove this entire base and reveal underneath kind of like um i forgot the uh where he fought balrog that base now this is kind of sticky so i i was trying to get mine off and then i kind of backed off off on it and i was just like nah i don't know if that's supposed to be the case uh because it wasn't on the instruction but i believe them because i lifted it up and i saw it like at the bottom there's kind of like um you know it's 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 nice i wish uh that was the case and that's not a mistake and then you know some metal placard or the nameplate it, that is always beautiful tailoring wise with asthmas and, and lord of the rings i've never had any problems with them shoes are not plastic or rubber actual kind of shoes uh you see there's a lot of weathering in here even the design of his pants underneath beautiful uh this robe or whatever you want to call this that he does have this belt nicely done uh, this i would say this the blue belt I'm a, you know what? I was about to say I have some hesitations with this because it might break. Mine actually kind of like broke. Uh, I glued it back on. It's not a big deal. But and then I remembered I have my old Gandalf from seven years ago, and still intact. So I guess depending on where you're at, uh, I can't speak if you are from a country that's humid. But mine has, you know, lasted this long. So I have no doubts that this. Is gonna last if not longer you know so uh, looking around here you see the bottom of his, his uh, shirt or her, you know robe whatever you call this has this nice weathering on it it's dirty it's grimy Gandalf the gray you know uh, going up here and man I can't I, I want them to tackle Gandalf the white next my god uh, I like this better you know the fabric that they use it's heavy but it's not to a point where it's sticking out. Um, it just drapes nicely. And there's weathering all over the place. And you can see his, uh, he does have that thing already in his hand. So you kind of loop it in in his thumb. Nicely, nicely done. Everything about this figure from the tailoring aspect is beautiful. But we all know what we came here for is the head sculpt. Boy, initially, this is... And, and this is, I, I know, or normally don't say this as often, but you got to have it in hand to appreciate it. Even my videos, and I take pride on my videos. This is 4K. I used like a, you know, a professional camera and all that stuff. As you can see the bokeh on the back. Uh, but in hand, it's still much better. They were talking about the eyes where it's gray, right? And it's sunken in. In hand, I never really had that much issue. Now, the eyes is glossy. They put some gloss in it so the, it catches the light, as you can see here. So that's why sometimes it loses the, uh, the detail on the eyes. So one, one technique is you just don't blast, just don't blast, you know, lights on in front of the eyes. And here, look at that. Don't tell me that's not Gandalf. My goodness. And then the hair, you know, let's talk about that because 
from the prototype that they released, it's beautiful. It's just perfection. Look at that side piece right there. Don't tell me that's not Gandalf right there. And then you've seen some pieces from collectors that they're receiving it, and it's not quite the same. And I had the same experience. And honestly, I was a bit upset because my hair was a bit more slick back than this. You can see from the back right here, they, they have some gel products of some sort that you have to remove. And it's on the instruction that style the hair with water because they're not all going to be the same. They're factory made and some workers are better than others. You know, that's just how it is. Maybe the one guy that posted it online had a better word. He just luck of the draw, basically. But mine, if you work on it, and I worked on mine, I'm still on work in progress, you'll get it right. And mine was so slick back, I was so disappointed up until I took a toothbrush and just started, you know, just applying water in it. And now I'm rethinking about my life choices because I'm brushing a doll's hair, kind of like Carlos. But yeah, so here you go. So articulation. So look at this guy right here. This is before I did the hair. Look at how slick back that is. You see that? See the difference? Go back and, and watch the hair head sculpt. You see the difference right there. Now, ratcheted joints on these guys, even on the first one. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I've never broken any of my Asmus figures yet, so I guess it's fine. Uh, double jointed elbows. You know, you got some arm swivel, so it can kick back up, you know, pretty high. So if you want him sitting down, you could do that as well. No hindrance on the articulation when it comes to his his overall outfit. Everything is forgiving here, so you don't have to worry about that. Double bend on the knees as well, so you got all, you know, like the, the waist, that is a bit of a, a stretch because of all the belts. And I guess, you know, but you could, you could, you know, definitely could. So make some adjustments and all that stuff, but you definitely could do that. But uh, yeah, you can see here, you can technically put him in a lot of poses. I don't see anyone putting Gandalf in such a dynamic pose, but hey, you never know. So speaking of poses, let's put some poses here before we wrap this thing up. So this is him. I mean, that is just beautiful right here. This figure. And then now I put on the robe. Now he does have, um, you got the overall package of Gandalf here. And I can say, man, this, this, this thing is, this piece is beautiful. You know, you start giving him a staff and his sword, uh, style the hair and all that stuff. All, there's so much noise out there. Just, just tune it out and you know, enjoy the figure as it is. It, I think it's, it's, I think it's beautiful for what it is. And this is him in in um, Casa Doom, I believe that's how you pronounce that or whatever. Like he's the the do, uh, you shall not pass. You know, I try to emulate that. I, I watch the unboxing from Sideshow, so. There you go with Terry trying to emulate that pose with, um, you know, sparks flying all over the place. There's a lot of heat going on in there. That's uh, and like I said, you're going to have fun with this figure. A lot of fun. And this is him traveling, you know, with the hobbits or whatever the case is, you know, when, when they're just walking. I should have, you know, because I do have the Star Ace horse. That would be nice. Like, it's not white, though, so I can't. Maybe like Shadow Facts, or I believe that's the name of the horse. But this is him with a hat. I don't think it's too bad, but I've seen the new one that they did, which is beautiful. So I can't wait for mine. Um, I've already contacted uh, Asmus and, you know, gave him my information. Um, am I, I might not just get that from Bilbo. I don't know. Undecided yet. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review Bilbo Baggins. I spent a lot of money on the Asmus lately, you, you know. I got him, Faramir, you know, Legolas and all that stuff. Here it is with, with the two other dudes. Uh, I should have put in like Gimli in there, but hey, this is enough. This is where they're in the tomb. Looks beautiful together, these three. My goodness, that is nice. That's just nice. I, I love Lord of the Rings. Everyone knows my channel, knows I do. And I got the young Bilbo here in, um, you know, Shire or you know whatever you want to call his house with a with a iconic door and you got Frodo and now you got you know this this beautiful scene right here Asmus presented that 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 um that scene but they said it's like a diorama piece but they said it, it takes I guess it's a lot to make those and that kind of broke my heart because I do want everything Lord of the Rings and the same with Saruman 
I think they look good to get uh, but they both look good together it looks nice and you got Saruman still after all these years I still think it's a pretty darn good figure even with a sculpted beard uh, the next one would be like rooted beard there man can't wait it once they do that because if judging from this um, crown series right here they certainly could my final thoughts and I would say this knowing that in art is just around the corner maybe next year right this is 320 in art is almost $500 is an art better from the prototype sure you might make that argument some people say that you know his likeness here is a little bit better you can fix the hair once you get this in the if you get this and the hair is not right get some water go to work get some toothbrush and you know brush away there's no guarantee that in art is not going to have the same issue where in art you get in art and and the hair is just beautiful right out of the box we we don't know that yet right it's mass produced um is the, let's just pretend that that's going to be better it should be because that is also 150 dollars more or 180 if you get this from from big bad are you really going to post that a lot let's say you bought that that's more like museum posts right because th that is so expensive that i'm almost going to be afraid to post that while this for 320 even though it's still expensive at 320 but that's kind of like the baseline hot toys nowadays and you get all these stuff the beautiful base in my opinion it's beautiful you get a bunch of stuff that you need. Is it too much? I mean, I guess, you know, to have two candles. Is, am, I'm not saying I'm not going to get the in-art, but this is more than enough for me, to be quite honest with you. The head is better. The head is better than you think it is. Um, no regrets getting this whatsoever. Once you take the time to futz it around, you know, the robe and everything, it turns out to be a really good figure. Is it better than in-art? I don't know but it's a hell of a figure though so let me know in the comments how you feel about this figure thank you for watching um hopefully you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video